Hey guys, it's back with another video. I'm going to talk to you about this. I got a text today about it and I'm going to dig into it. So, you guys know when people have their own, well, their family house or their own house. There. So, any property that you have, right? It could be a condo, it could be any property out there, like apartment even, right? So, you say to yourself, right, I have this big old house there. Oh, yeah, congratulations and all. Yep, yep. Congratulations, man. And then after that, then, when it's all, when you're debt free, then, no mortgage, no renting, there like that, you're chuffed and all. But at the end of the day, right, if you think about it, right, the house is still the same. You know what I mean? It's still the same. It's not like it's all paid off now, right? But at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, it's a house, man. Jesus, it's a house. What do you mean? Get more into it. A house, right? As in, so you live here for your lifetime, yeah. Then the next person, person, family comes in, yeah. So when you're passed away, Another family will uh, get this house that you used to live in and born in. And then the next generation after that then. And the next gen generation after that then. So it's like technically, technically, it's not really your house. It's like the bank's house. Do you know what I mean? Like as in like Bank of Ireland, AIB, Ulster Bank, Credit Union, own it there, like that. You know what I mean? It's technically not your house anyways but when it comes to cars though it's not the same whatsoever because you can use the car as long as you want there like that and then yep yeah, there's no miles on this car now it's all dead there like that or maybe a couple of miles there you sell it off there but no one else can actually put more miles onto the engine do you know what i mean so technically it's actually all used up now you know where I'm coming from? But a house though, right? People can still use it, use it, use it, use it. So like one family member uses it then for the entire lifetime, then another family uses it then. So that's two families used it in, in so many generations. Then another family moves in after they passed away and then another one moves in like that. Because it is true though, to be fair. Like I know everyone hates the truth but it's the true l fact you know what i mean like the house will be always standing as builders always say right in the inside of the house it is never finished inside of the house all the time the house is never finished because it's always has to be update and uh, bedrooms update this there the family loves it there the next family come in there the house is for sale again and then they buy it there they redo the house up again then there they redo it redo it redo it redo it there so technically like it's like a house is like a shed do you know what i mean we're paying a big ass money for it there to pay it off there to make it yours for the lifetime do you know what i mean or let someone actually like in the, the kids inherit it there do you know what I mean? At the end of the day. That's completely different. Do you know what I mean? Like if your family say, Yep, yeah, there's your deeds to the house there now. Yep. Yeah. Ah well thanks man, thanks dad. But if you think about it though, what are they those kids of that family gonna be doing when they're grown up? Oh, um they're probably gonna Yeah, of course they're gonna have their their own parent I mean like their own their own kids there and then their mum and dad then will have grandkids there and then they'd be saying to themselves hey what's the point in having the my family house they better off selling that their pile of money then we get back off that house there you know what i mean and then split it to say if you have two sisters or three sisters or three three extra siblings like a brother or sister or whatever it is there you have to split it, split it between each other there like that if there's no will, you know? And then, and then you'd be like, 
Well, you might as well sell it. What's the point in renting it out to other people, to be fair? Because, like, you, I, I won't get much out of that because the rent is only um, 2,000 euros a month or 2,000. I need, you know, a big chunk to me. You know what I mean? You know where I'm coming from? So if a house is worth a million there, like that, and then I, I have two kids there, as in, like, one, like, as in, like, I, I'm a kid in that house there, and my sister is, that means then that's 500,000 each there. Wow, that's my pension there. Yep, that's my L pension there. Jesus, and my pension is tilted up there to, to say, three, 300,000 there in my in my pension there and now I've got this big chunk there Jay so I'm fucking rich I can I can actually retire earlier now. Yippee You know? So if you look at it that way there, right? A house is never anyone's really. It is for their for their life though, don't get me wrong. But this person is actually thinking outside the box as in the house is always standing. The inside could be changed so many times there, but technically the house that's standing isn't really yours, really. You're just paying the bank loaner's wages off for 25 years of the mortgage. Now, you come, now, now where I'm coming from, the house is like, yep, there's a house there. Yeah, you just have to pay the bank... Um, Three hundred and uh, fifty thousand. There, that's how much the house is worth. So if you don't pay this mortgage off, there, or don't pay me monthly, or weekly, or daily, this house is get out. I'm putting someone else there to rent it out or to buy it off us. So technically, the banks own houses and properties. Do you know what I mean? Families in the world don't. They may own it, but when another family gets it there up for sale, houses up for sale there, brand new family comes in there, and then the next family generation comes in, then the next family generation comes in, then the next one, then the next one, then the next one, then the next one. So, but technically, no family owns a house. Do you know what I mean? It's not like their family house built. Do you know what I mean? They can have pile extensions everywhere there, but at the end of the day, Right, you can't bring your house to the grave with you. Do you know where I'm coming from? Yes, we do. Thanks very much. Please subscribe and thanks for that um good man there called Tom Come come pronounce his last name. I think it's like Tom Fingalian or some Fagillian or something. I don't know. But anyway, thanks to uh, Tom Fagillian Fagalian. For texting me in that on uh, Instagram there tonight and uh, send me more, send me more if you can. Bye.